I would never hurt you. Never. I would never hurt anyone. I'm not a monster. Welcome to Series Pulse, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies starring Elizabeth Olsen. We hope you will enjoy this list. Please let us know your favorites in the comments and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. Get the people on the boats. I'm not going to leave you here. I can handle these. <laughs> Come back for me when everyone else is off, not before. Hmm. You understand? Number 10, Kodachrome. I work for Ben. Oh. Oh, you work for Ben. Oh, okay, well, that's great. I, I don't know who that is. Benjamin Asher Ryder. Your father. Directed by Mark Rasso, Kodachrome is a 2017 Netflix comedy drama film. It stars Ed Harris, Jason Sudeikis, and Elizabeth Olsen. Matt Ryder, a struggling record company representative's world, is flipped upside down when the nurse of his estranged father shows up unexpectedly at his workplace. Matt's father, a well-known bad boy photographer, is dying of cancer, and his last wish is for Matt to join him on a road trip from New York to Kansas to develop his last roles of Kodachrome film. Before the last remaining lab closes and those cherished moments are lost forever. This is a bad idea. What do you mean? We're just yeah. we're just talking. Well, then you have to talk about the fact that that you're just talking, then you're not just talking. Number nine, Godzilla. Sammy, you remember Laura? She's mommy's work friend, right? She's gonna look after you just for a little bit. Daddy's gonna be here soon, and I'm gonna just come get you right after. Directed by Gareth Edwards, Godzilla is a 2014 monster film reboot of the Japanese franchise, and the second Godzilla film to be produced by a Hollywood studio. The film stars Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen, and Brian Cranston. Navy bomb expert Ford Brody has just returned to San Francisco when his family is forced to travel to Japan to help his estranged father, Joe. Both men are soon caught in a global crisis when Godzilla rises from the sea to battle malevolent enemies threatening humanity's survival. The beasts leave massive damage while moving closer to their ultimate battleground. Up there in the other drawer. So why was he trespassing in the quarantine zone? <laughs> what do you think? Lone crusader for the truth. Number eight, Ingrid goes west. We were never friends because everything about you is such a fucking lie! You just are some weird freak that found me on Instagram, and that's basically all this has been. Written and directed by Matt Spicer, Ingrid Goes West is a 2017 black comedy drama film starring Aubrey Plaza, Elizabeth Olsen, and O'Shea Jackson Jr. After losing her mother and a string of self-inflicted setbacks, young Ingrid Thorburn leaves her mundane life behind by moving to Los Angeles to meet and befriend Taylor Sloan, a social media celebrity she obsesses over. After an immediate bond develops between the two of the most unlikeliest of friends. The facade in both women's lives, however, begins to unravel with hilariously destructive results. Can I have my phone? <laughs> no. Give me it. No. Give me it. Uh -uh. Taylor, I brought some rosé. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a great model. I know, I thought you liked that kind. Thank you. All right, so. nice. Number seven, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This is me being reasonable. Based on characters appearing in Marvel Comics, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is a 2022 superhero film directed by Sam Raimi and is a sequel to 2016's Doctor Strange. The film stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, and Benedict Wong. The Marvel Cinematic Universe opens the multiverse and pushes its limits to new heights in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Venture into the unfamiliar with Doctor Strange as he explores the mind-bending and frightening parallel worlds of the multiverse to battle a mysterious mysterious new villain with the help of both old and new mystical allies. For Billy and Tommy to protect them. What if they get sick? In the infinite multiverse, there's a cure for every illness. Number six, Martha Marcy May Marlene. What, it's not good? Mm -hmm. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit dry. Written and directed by Sean Durkin, Martha Marcy May Marlene is a 2011 psychological thriller drama film starring Elizabeth Olsen in her feature film debut and co-stars John Hawks, Sarah Paulson, and Hugh Dancy. After spending several years in a cult, Martha eventually leaves and asks her estranged sister Lucy for help. Martha finds herself at the calm Connecticut house where Lucy lives with her husband, but the scars of her time in the cult make peace tough to find. As the flashbacks continue to haunt her, Martha seemingly can't escape an overwhelming sense of fear. Oh, you. 
I was confused. About what? What are you so confused about? I thought he was someone else. You thought he was someone else? Number five, Avengers Age of Ultron. How could I what? You said we would destroy the Avengers, make a better world. It will be better. When everyone is dead. That is not... Based on the Marvel Comics superhero team Avengers Age of Ultron is a 2015 superhero film written and directed by Joss Whedon. The film features an ensemble cast including Elizabeth Olsen in her MCU debut. Things go horribly wrong when Tony Stark reactivates a dormant peacekeeping program, prompting him, Thor, the Incredible Hulk, and the rest of the Avengers to reassemble. The Avengers are faced with the ultimate test when they confront Ultron, a technological menace hell-bent on human annihilation. At some point, they cross paths with Pietro and Wanda Maxima, two intriguing and formidable siblings. I just did. Do you know how it felt? <laughs> Number four, Wind River. Can I talk to him? No, worry. Anything they tell you would be inadmissible in court, and then anything you'd tell us would render everything that resulted in missile as well. Written and directed by Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan, Wind River is a 2017 neo-western crime film starring Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen and also features Kelsey Asbill and John Bernthal. On a Native American reservation in Chile, Wyoming, Corey Lambert, a wildlife officer, discovers the body of an 18-year-old girl. When an autopsy indicates she was also raped, FBI agent Jane Banner is sent out to investigate. Partnering with Lambert as a guide, the pair soon realizes that their lives are at stake while trying to crack the mystery of the girl's death. His girlfriend filed a missing persons report. Well, how can that be? I thought you guys found her in a snowdrift right before the storm. Excuse me? Well, I heard her name go out over the radio when you guys found her. Number three, Captain America Civil War. I can't control their fear, only my own. Captain America Civil War is a 2016 superhero film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, starring Chris Evans alongside an ensemble cast including Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. Political pressure to establish an accountability system increases as a result of the inadvertent damages caused by the Avengers' actions. The new state of affairs significantly divides the team's members. Captain America thinks governments shouldn't interfere with superheroes' abilities to defend mankind. Iron Man strongly opposes and advocates for regulation. Hawkeye and Black Widow are forced to choose a side as the arguments turn into a full-fledged war. Guess I should have knocked. Oh my god. What are you doing here? Disappointing my kid. Number two, Avengers Infinity War. It's time. No. They can't stop him, Wanda, but we can. Look at me. You have the power to destroy the storm. Don't. You must do it. Oh, please. Avengers Infinity War is a 2018 superhero film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. The film features an ensemble cast which includes Elizabeth Olsen. To take on their most formidable enemy yet, the monstrous Thanos, Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, and the rest of the Avengers assemble forces. Thanos is on a quest to gather all six Infinity Stones and seeks to use them to impose his cruel will upon reality. Everything the Avengers have battled for has led to this point, which is the most uncertain that the fate of the Earth and life itself has ever been. You gave Stark your word. I'd rather give it to you. Well, there are people who are expecting me too, you know. We both made promises. Not to each other. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Liberal arts. So are you gonna see Professor Hoberg while you're here? You know, probably not. Um, and you know, if you, uh, if you run into him, maybe don't mention that I'm here. In secret. <laughs> don't ever do that to me again. <sighs> to us. I can't sleep. I haven't slept in months. Let me come to your room tonight. Kill your darlings. I didn't know we were having guests. What's this? I was aiming for stew. Yeah. Number one, Avengers Endgame. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. Directed by the Russo brothers and produced by Kevin Feige, Avengers Endgame is an epic superhero film released in 2019, starring an ensemble cast with Elizabeth Olsen reprising her role as Wanda Maximoff. Tony Stark, lost in space without access to food or water, sends Pepper Potts a message while his oxygen level begins to run low. Thor, Black Widow, Captain America, and Bruce Banner, the remaining Avengers, must find a way to rescue their defeated teammates in order to confront the villainous warlord Thanos, who destroyed the Earth 
and the universe in a titanic showdown of epic proportions. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below.